Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another new videos for MRCS Examinee. This channel is dedicated for MRCS Examinee for pass the MRCS exam very easily. So here are the question. First of all, we have to read the question very carefully. Then we have to find out the key points to answer the question. Here are the question. A 22 years old man developed an infection in the pulp of the little finger. What is the most proximal site to which this infection may migrate? So here, uh, after careful reading, now the key points. First of all, a 22 years old man develops infection in the pulp of the little finger. So this point is important, infection in the pulp of the little finger. What is the proximal site to which the infection may migrate? That means the infection it ascends from the finger to the uh, upper part of the hand so we have to find out up to which margin it may goes so here the options the options are the metacarpophalangeal joint that means mp joint the distal interphalangeal joint or dip joint the proximal interphalangeal joint that means pip joint proximal to the flexor retinaculum and immediately distal to the carpal tunnel so we have to find out one of the option uh, which is compatible with this question that means a uh, infection in the pulp of the little finger migrate which of the, this for this answer we have to see a picture and this one picture is enough to realize the whole question here so here we can see here is the index finger here is the thumb and here is the little finger, here is thumb and index, middle and ring finger. And according to the question, the infection is the infection in the pulp of the little finger. So here we can see the infection in the pulp of the little finger. It uh, may travel or uh, ascend in the upper part like this, like this and here up to there. So we can see this infection may travel up to here and in the thumb the infection can travel and travel up to the proximal to the this retinaculum that means your retinaculum but from the ring finger middle finger and index finger if infection arises they is stuck in here they will get stuck in here they will be stopped in here because here the sheet terminated so here is the termination of infection for ring, middle and index finger and usually they don't travel more. But in the infection in the thumb or infection, uh, infection in the little finger they may travel and travel up to the proximal to this retinaculum that means the flexor retinaculum. So the infection may get up to this that means the proximal to the flexor retinaculum for this any freak in the finger during the uh, measurement of blood glucose level we usually don't freak in the little finger or in the thumb we usually freak these fingers but not the little and not the thumb because any infection uh, from here may travel more proximally and causes more fatal condition we can see another same picture here we can see the this is thumb, index, middle and ring and little finger and in this case we can see again here the in case of thumb the sheet or radial bursa it travels proximally up to there that means proximal to this joint or proximal to this fascia that is flexor retinaculum and from the little finger also the alar bursa is travel proximal to the flexor retinaculum but from these three that means index middle and ring finger from there infection is stuck here but in case of the thumb and little finger infection is stuck here it is more proximal so for any prick we usually avoid the thumb and the index finger so the infection pulp of little finger may travel up to the proximal to the flexor retinoculum that means here thank you all